Hey y'all, how's it going? Um, welcome back. It is Saturday. Um, so I got an email like a week or so ago, a little over a week ago, um, from somebody uh, representing this company, Flitz. It's an instant brass and copper tarnish remover. So they offered to send us some of their product just to try to see if it's better than Brasso. So that's what I'm doing today. So I'm not sure if it's like noxious or like whatnot. So I got my gloves on. Um, and a, a mask so I don't breathe it in. Yeah, it causes eye and skin irritation. All right, cool. Eye protection, rubber gloves recommended. So got my glasses on. I'm gonna back up a little bit from it. Um, so you're supposed to just have to put this on for, um, this is dusty. Um, put it on for a, a minute and then just rinse it off. So I got a little dish of water here. Um, and then just dry them up. And then they sent a protectant too. Um, but I'm not sure if I want to use that because I don't know if it makes it like greasy. So we'll check it out and see in the future. But let's get started and see what we think. Okay, right, so it says spray full strength onto surface. Wait up to one minute. Do not let dry. Rinse well, well with water. For severe encrustation, repeat and agitate with brush. Polish to brilliant shine and protect with fits, flitz polish. So let's do this little solo guy real quick. Let me move that so I don't get it all covered in it because that's what I'm going to dry it with. Oh, I should probably turn the spray around, right? Mm. Ooh. Holy cow. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see like how quickly that just worked. It should work. All right. It has wow on the bottle real big. It has wow? Wow. I didn't notice that. Hmm. Give it a rinse, come back to it just because I'm a little nervous. Hmm. So it looks like it's had. I don't know. It took off like the really easy stuff, like nothing, like just the tarnish. Like it was nothing like it came off immediately, but there's other stuff hanging out on here. Um, definitely some paint happening here. Sorry, these gloves are kind of big. You can see there's paint on it, but I'm like, I'm not sure like what this is. This little like discoloration. So I'm not sure because it's not paint. Let's try another one. All right, so this one doesn't really have any paint on it. It's just very tarnished, so let's take a look. Hmm. Ooh, it stinks. Oh, wow. Y'all can see all of that kind of tarnish. Let's spray it again. Oh yeah, it just needed another little quick spray. Okay. 
So it looks like if you have something like that, just give it another closer spray and it'll kind of come right off. Oh, and I just noticed it says it's an eco-safe green product. Okay. Well, that's nice. Okay, so I don't know. The finish on it's kind of odd after using that. Do you see how it's like speckly? Let me get one that I've done with brass so recently. So here's the one I did with Brasso recently. You can see it's like smooth. Not, you know what I mean? It might have a little bit of like imperfection, but it doesn't have that speckly look. So, I mean, it took everything off, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe it needs that polish. Let me bust that out and see what we think. All right. Protection, polish. Okay, let me read the directions on this one. Oh, it doesn't look like there are any actual directions. Let me take a look at the box here. So we got a sealant, the polish protectant. See if there's any directions on these. All right. Well, I don't want to mess anything up, so I'm going to um, stop the video for a minute, do some research, and then I'll use this because I don't want to mess anything up. I'll see y'all back in a sec. All right, so got the info. So um, you just have to apply it with a paper towel and then rub briskly. And then um, polish it with a soft cloth. So I got another cloth out. I'm gonna grab a little bit of paper towel here. All right. Oh, it's stinky. I don't smell it yet. I do. You're right up in it. All right. Well. That's what it looks like with the stuff on there. Kind of like wax in a car. So wax on, wax off. There we go. Holy macaroni. So yeah, people have definitely said something to us about getting rid of the patina on the doorknobs and everything and all the brass. But the thing is we are trying to restore the house um, to where it was when it was new. So the Browns, Mrs. Brown would not have wanted to have tarnished doorknobs. So that's why we're doing this. And uh, also I'll show you at the end of the video doorknobs that we polished a couple, a couple of months ago, and they're already getting like patina on them again. So, and, uh, let's do a little comparison here. Well, let me like wipe this off just because we want it to be fair. So let me just dust this real quick. So this is the one that I did with Brasso a few weeks ago. And here's the one I just did with the flits. So, and we have not really handled this. It's been, you know, off to the side, not on our door. So I think that the flits looks even better. Like look at that mirror shine on it. You can see the, the ceiling. 
And I mean, it was a lot easier, like so much easier. Really like this product. And they did not pay us to say anything. They just wanted to send us the product to try. And you guys know if something works well for us, like we want to talk about it. Um, just because, you know, we, if, if, if we're trying to, you know, say, oh, we're not going to talk about a product without, you know, you sending us money, then you guys aren't getting the best products. You know what I mean? So we don't, we don't take, you know, it's not an, an expectation with us. So we just want to share what works with everybody because we figure at least some of y'all are working on houses as well. So, um, Caleb's talking about, he's got to put a hole in the closet over here for some electrical. So I'm going to put music over the rest of this. So, uh, yeah, here's the one that I did that kind of had some paint on it. So I'm going to do it again, uh, with the, uh, the spray, rinse it off and then I'll polish it, but I'm going to throw some music on here so he can get to doing what he's doing. Okay. So, um, this is the Brasso one. This is one we've done with flits. As you can see, these ones with flits still have some issues. I don't want to mess them up and use it wrong. So I'm going to contact, um, the person that I was emailing with and ask what I should do because I don't want to hurt them. But obviously the product works super well because like the tarnish, as you saw, just melted off. And then here is the one, the side that turned out the best. Um... Let me polish that up again real quick. I'm not sure what's going on there. All right, so just gave it a quick rub down real quick with the towel again. Look, I mean, I can, like, I can see myself in the doorknob. Hello, how are you? That's insane. And like this Brasso one, like, I mean, it's very clean, but it, it's just not got the beautiful finish like that. And let me show you the doorknob um, that we did a couple months ago here on the library. And that was polished really nicely with the Brasso. So as you can see, they do get tarnished again. 
you know, pretty quickly, honestly. Get the other side too. See, those were like super shiny, brassy, and now they're just getting tarnished again. So it just happens quickly. So, yeah. So yeah, that's gonna do it for today. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, hope you learned something new, maybe learned of a new product that you'd like to try, if, you know, if you want to. Um, I'm not sure where they sell it. I will look that up, put info down in the bottom just in case you wanna look for it. Cause I know people ask us all the time where you buy the Cooper Strip Club. Um, the paint stripper that we use, um, who we are also not sponsored by. Um, hello. <laughs> um, so the only place that you can buy Coopers that I'm aware of is their website because they are out of New Zealand. They're not sold in Lowe's or Home Depot or anything. So you have to go to their website. So I will, you know, look and see if Lowe's or Home Depot or any, you know, large retailers sell the flits. And then I will put that down in the bottom in the description. Okay. And I will see y'all tomorrow on Sunday. Um, this will probably go up tomorrow on Sunday, and then I'll put Sunday's video up on Monday. So I will see you in a couple of days, okay? Bye.